Hello and welcome back to my channel. Um, it's been a while since I posted anything and you know how it is. So this time I have a treat for you. I thought I would unbox and overview this. This is my new XTZ Spirit 2 speakers. What you may ask? The last video you did was an unboxing of the XTZ Spirit 2 speaker. Yes. Yes, that's true. Why is this true? Well, I had these speakers. I uh, used them, and I will get to the review part later. And on the website it said that with the uh, flush mount kit, that I showed in the last video. I got one here, I'll show you. This little thingy, the flush mount kit. And as I mentioned, I thought, wow, that was tiny. I thought it would be bigger. Now, I really, really wish it was. Because this, I'm sorry, XTZ, this does not hold the Spirit 2 speaker onto a ceiling? Well, yes and no. This does. This is super, super sturdy. This is a really good thing and the corresponding bracket that is actually mounted on my ceiling, I will take a photo and post, uh, put it in the, in the video. This is super good. What was not so super good is, and I'll show you, This. this is where these little plugs were hammered into the speaker and then the screw goes in here that goes that you fasten the bracket with and me and my brother was doing some rewiring down here we were putting some new lightings in the ceiling so I had to disconnect the speaker, and then when I w went to put it back, I thought, man, it's really drooping. It was like, if this is the front and this is the back, it was like this. And I was like, that's weird. It shouldn't be. And I have been thinking, like, are they really supposed to droop like that? And so I thought I would take it down and watch everything over one more time and when I just started to release it it came crashing down and it busted up the corner it busted up the edge and these you can see I can just so this is not the way to mount these speakers to the ceiling unless they fix some other sort of uh, I don't know what even to call it, the plug or something in the speaker. I mean the ones that I put in the ceiling, I could easily hang from those. I'm not a big guy, but I could easily hang from those. So this, sorry XTZ, you have to go back to the drawing board with this one. Or, as I would recommend, take the terminal, put it either here or here, and put the mounting bracket in the middle. That way, it won't have the drooping effect. So, that was that was <laughs> the thing about the the opening there with the reboxing and opening and boxing and blah blah blah. So this one, I do have to say though, I'll just put this away. I contacted XTZ, and they were like, okay, and then they said, okay send us some pictures, we'll send you a new speaker, send the old speaker back in the same box. No problems, no questions asked, nothing. It was like a couple of days, I had the new speaker, and this is why I'm doing this video. So, the customer service, awesome. Really, really awesome. 
And as for the speaker itself, as you remember, I bought a pair. I said I would listen to it, listen to music, use them as Atmos so speakers in my ceiling. And I have to say, these are really small speakers. And I just put them on two chairs in my living room, hooked it up to a fairly small amplifier and a CD player and Spotify and stuff like that. And when I turned it on, I, the first thing I played on it was Echoes by Pink Floyd. It's a really long song. It's an old song. It's from the late 60s, early 70s. I don't even remember. And I was like, yeah, it's okay. Because it's, it's this spacey, it's like, whoa, a lot of strange sounds and bubbles and hisses and fizzes and whatever. And then a couple of minutes in, it sort of narrows down to just the band. With just the drums, the bass, the guitar. And it was so, so tight. Super tight. It was like I could place every instrument. And I just threw these up on two chairs in my living room. And hooked up Spotify to it. It was super tight. Granted, bass. They don't have a lot of bass. And I'll get to that later. But the positioning of the sound, the clarity of his voice, it was amazing. And then I had a friend over and I played uh, Miles Away by The Young Gods, which starts with a fairly fast guitar riff. And I was like, just just sit here. Oh, it's the new speakers. He was like all excited because, well, he's like me. He like he loves this stuff. He was super excited. I turned it on and this really super fast arpeggio and the guitar starts playing. The first words that came out of his mouth was, whoa. Are you kidding me? No, no. Is it just these speakers? Yes, yes. It's not the bass. No, no, no. It's just these speakers. And he was blown away, just like me. It is so tight, the sound. I mean, these are fairly inexpensive speakers. And they don't dig deep in, into the bass. And, but the clarity, wow! It's amazing for these kind of cheap speakers. Sorry, XDZ, but they are cheap. It was, I, I would love to hear their high range speakers. I haven't yet. But wow, it was it just blew me away. And then there's in that song, Miles Away from Young Gods, uh, the guitar riff starts, and then there's this bass thing that sounds almost like you know, if you have a, a chord that's connected to the amp but nothing on the other end, and you touch it and it goes. Bzz, 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 bzz. And my friend was like, dude, it's because I was in the kitchen fixing something. And he's like, oh, is it, is it supposed to be like this? It, it sounds like something's wrong. It's connected wrong. And I was like, no, man, that's just the way it's supposed to be. Because it sounded like it really, really, really was a disconnected chord. It wasn't like, oh, there's some sort of bass thing. and stuff. No, no, no. It's like the actual sound of you touching a chord that's connected to the amp, but not in the other end. And then when his voice comes on, it was this really, really open, spacious sound. And I've, I've listened to this song so many times because I'm a spinning instructor and I have it in my, in my uh, class. And I just love the Young Gods. I've seen them live so many times. I've met them. They're super nice guys. This is like 20 years ago, but and I also have an autographed drumstick from them. I, I just, it's one of my favorite bands. And when it opened up in voice, it was like, wow, from these small speakers. So I have to say, if you like open sound, uh, these are really good speakers. But 
and here's the but. If you want bass, because I listen to a lot of house and I listen to a lot of techno and stuff like that, uh, you need a woofer. You really definitely need a subwoofer with these because there is no way, I mean, it's an open clear sound but you will not annoy your neighbors with it, that's for damn sure. And if you want bassy sound, if you listen to like really heavy metal or something like that, you need a subwoofer, you do. And I don't think that XDZ has intended it any other way. And that brings us to using them as Atmos speakers. And in my setup I have, let's see, what is it, 7.2.2. So that's seven speakers on the bass layers. Well, actually there are nine because I have two pairs on the sides that are connected as one speaker. But uh, So I have one pair for each row. I have two rows, but they're connected together. And then I have two subwoofers, one in the front, one in the back. And then I have these two XTZs as Atmos speakers. And... I must say that it was it's like because then you have all these speakers going on so it's not like oh wow those speakers are amazing but the whole Atmos thing like everybody else says it's, it really lifts the room it brings up the the height of the sound and in my Marantz I have uh, the Marantz 7012 it does it really good with upscaling sounds as well the first movie I saw was Saving Private Ryan and Dolby Atmos didn't exist back then but it does this upscaling thing and if you remember in Saving Private Ryan there's this scene it's a really really terrifying scene where they're in that small town in France and the, the Germans are coming and uh, a guy runs upstairs, I don't even remember, like, and then one of the Germans comes after him and surprises him. And you sort of first see the, the, the fight between them two and then the guy that is downstairs starts yelling for him. And you can hear the upstairs fighting going on. And I could pinpoint, it's, it's right there, you could see the guy, the stairs going up and the fighting and I can just like the fighting's up there it was spot on and then I I've listened to the Ready Player One everybody mentions Ready Player One and you know when the coins go it was I could really tell it was and, and there's not a lot of uh, Youth Man did a thing where he disconnected all the speakers except the Atmos speakers and he used Ready Player One there's not a lot coming from the ceiling but when it does it's like crystal so the XTZ Spirit 2 speaker I'm really really I have a wife so I have to discuss everything with her of course but what I would like to do in my home theater is to because I have the Yamo D6 bipolar speakers as surrounds and I would actually like to swap these out for XTZs. Why you ask? Because these are good speakers. They're old, but they're good. Is that Dolby Atmos actually recommends point source speakers, not bipolar speakers that spreads the sound. Because of that new technique where they can shift the sound where they want to, you don't need that dispersion from the speaker. So I would love to put some it's down here you can't see it love to put some spirit twos on the side and in the back and then hopefully two pairs in the ceiling I only have one pair right now and it's not even up yet I'm putting it up but I'm doing this video because I have to ship this one back to XTZ and then find out some sort of solution for having these hanging without drooping and <laughs> falling down almost on my head but in conclusion 
if you live somewhere where you can get XTC speakers, Sweden, Norway, Denmark, I, I don't know, I, I haven't asked them if they ship worldwide, but if you can, try them out. They have a really good return policy. I think you can test it for 30 days and you can return it, no questions asked, and try it out. Because there are so many speaker brands out there telling them they're, they're the shit. But I must say, for the price range, you get super nice finish, really, really good sound. This is just one pair of speakers in their kind of lower range that I've listened to. I would love to listen to their higher ranges, but you know, money is money. <laughs> you have to you have to be able to afford it. So in conclusion, try them. Give them a chance. And I think that everybody you come in contact with that has XTZ speakers would say, yes, they're really good, especially for the price point. Of course there's always these five thousand dollar speakers that will be better but how much better that's the question you should ask yourself or as I, I have a hi-fi set in my uh, living room and it's like oh, I'd like to change that and then I start thinking why why should I put hundreds or even thousands of dollars to get that just a little bit better sound when most of us, me included, use Spotify. Then you need a really super expensive DAC to get the last piece out of your speakers or whatever because Spotify in itself is not that good. They have a lot of music but the resolution of the music it's kinda iffy. It's not the best. Deezer is better but Deezer doesn't fit my music taste. So, that's it for now, um, love the speakers, super, super friendly customer service, their return policy is awesome, they didn't even ask questions, they're like, okay, we'll send you a new speaker. So, um, XTZ, Spirit 2, or any of their other speakers, try them out, they're really good. Now, if you'd like to see more of me, I know I'm not very consistent. Subscribe, please. It, it would help me out. I'm, I'm thinking about new material. I have some new stuff I'm going through. I got a Harmony hub for Christmas, for instance. I'm going to make a video about that. I'm off to buy a new uh, Blu-ray player right now. That's got something to do with the Harmony, but I'll get to that. So please subscribe or whatever. And until next time, have a good time.